Welcome to Mimi's Home and Garden. Today I'll be showing you how I created a spiral herb garden in my own backyard using bricks that were given to me by a good friend neighbor who didn't want them anymore. I saw this idea on Pinterest a couple of years ago and once I got the brick I thought I've got to make this. So I began with taking a white can of spray paint and spraying a spiral design on the ground you don't have to worry about your grass. You're going to cover that with um, mulch and it will eventually kill the grass. So I laid the bricks out the way I wanted my spiral herb garden to go. And then my husband suggested I glue the bricks in place with a cement adhesive so that they wouldn't topple over. So once I got my design set, then I took the bricks apart and beginning on the very bottom row, lined up the spiral. And then I just kept adding bricks and gluing them in place as I went, building it to the height that I wanted. The middle part of the um, spiral or garden is the highest, and then you slowly taper down. So I did that brick by brick, gluing it in place. Takes about 24 hours for it to completely um, dry and be um, ready to put dirt in. So here is the Loctite polyurethane concrete sealant that I used. Um, I just cut the tip off, take a caulking gun, take that long um, metal rod and push it into the tip, opening up the caulk and set it back into the gun, tighten it up, give it a few pumps, and you're ready to go. This took about six tubes of that caulking adhesive to, to um, make this spiral herb garden. I s just applied some glue, as you see, and then just set a brick on top. It's that easy. I lined my row of bricks, and then I would pick one up, glue, and then set it back into place all the way around. Give it a little push and you're done. That's it, no mess, no cleanup. And that is how I built the spiral herb garden. After it was completely built, I took some logs and tried to fill in so I wouldn't have to use so much dirt these will decay and rot after a while, giving it a lot of good nutrients. So I filled in as much as I could with some logs that I had. And then I had cleaned out my chicken coop and run. So I poured all those shavings um, and chicken poop on top of the logs and filled all that in, patting it down with the shovel. And then I started wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow filling that spiral herb garden with some good dirt. I had a load of dirt brought in and I started filling up the um, bricks, around the bricks with the dirt. Patting it down as I went, especially along the walls, pushing it down and then adding more dirt. This was about an all day long Saturday project here, filling that with dirt. But I think it turned out pretty cool. Giving it a nice firm pat so there's no air bubbles underneath. And next come the herbs. I have a good variety of mints for teas, chamomile, I have cooking herbs, um, parsley, basil, dill, chives, stevia plant at the top, chamomile at the top. So I put in all my favorite herbs and then I mixed up a wheelbarrow load of um, black cow manure and some good potting soil and some garden tone um, fertilizer. And then as I dug holes for these plants, I put a scoop of that in the hole 
to give it a good start. I do plan to get some kind of a um, mulch to put around. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to get. But there is the end result of the spiral herb garden in my backyard kitchen garden. So now I'm going to give it a good soak with the hose. Wet everything down. And I think I'm going to look for that coconut husk mulch to put on it and pack it and to keep the um, dirt moist in the summer when it gets really hot. And this is right off my back deck so I can come out, snip off what I want herb wise, put in a few more flowers, and my spiral herb garden is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you go out and make one for yourself. You can use stone. I've seen them made with um, metal. Pinterest has lots of good ideas, but I think this one turned out pretty cool. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on what I did, just leave those below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.